Welcome everyone far and wide across the expanse of the earth. My name is Miss Click and I am so excited because um, news has finally dropped of the Nintendo Switch Lite. Not mini, Lite. Mini does sound really cute though, but maybe it's because it sounds cute people don't want it to be mini. Anyways, I haven't looked up anything of Nintendo Switch Lite. I had a couple things spoiled for me. I did wake up late today because I went to bed late, but what's new? So we're gonna watch the video. It's six and a half minutes. So that's kind of nice to know that they are giving like a whole video on it. I'm really excited. I did see one picture. So yeah, but it looks great. I'm gonna watch the rest. I don't know any other details. I'm excited. And I'm gonna say this right now. I told you so. I told you so. Tack, I told you so. Okay, sorry, enough. I had to get that out of the way. I had to get it out of the way. Anyways, this makes sense. This makes sense for Nintendo to do. Why? Because first you apply to the casual crowd before you apply to the hardcore crowd if the hardcore crowd already hasn't been appealed to but we have the switch so i'm freaking pleased right now and i might consider it a little bit hardcore just a little bit okay enough ranting i'm gonna watch this tack are you ready look he's in his banana he's in his banana you're a banana cat are you ready to watch this okay enough talking sorry i didn't mean to get distracted we're gonna watch this now let's do it okay 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 let's go Turn this up. Hit play. Nasan, konnichiwa. Hi, everyone. Konnichiwa. I'm Yoshiaki Koizumi, general producer of Nintendo Switch. Players the world over are already enjoying Nintendo Switch and its growing catalog of games. Very Breath of the Wild type I'd music. I'd like to extend my heartfelt gratitude to each of you. Aw. With Nintendo Switch, you can play on your TV at home, detach the Joy-Con controllers to play with friends, or undock the system to take it with you wherever you want. You can find your way to play. I love the aesthetic the different play styles of this generation. The That's the Nintendo Switch you know and love. Mm -hmm. And this fall, it will be joined by a new addition to the family. Oh, it's so cute! Oh, I love the yellow! Nintendo Switch Lite. I love the yellow! The Switch is dedicated to handheld play. And as such, it's compact, lightweight, and easy to take with you on Look the Look how go. tiny! The front of the system looks like this. Oh, it looks so good! Oh, Here's the yellow and white! I love it. And this is how it looks on the back. No kickstand? Nintendo Switch Lite will be available in three different colors. Oh, the blue though! Oh, and the gray looks clean yellow. too. This is clean. Oh. Gray. Oh. And turquoise. The turquoise, though, dude. Now, please take a look at this. Ah! Dude, I love new things. <laughs> Mustard yellow is, like, kind of my thing right now, so. Oh, I love it. Oh god, they look so good! And then the Joy-Cons, like, that's not a surprise. <clears throat> it's the same color as the turquoise Joy-Con, right? The exact same? But does it have gyro? It has to have gyro, right? Like, it's in the actual thing, since they're not, you can't take them out. It looks so good, dude! What the heck? Can you dock it? Or no? Also, transferring data. I'm sorry, I'm asking all these questions, but these are just popping up in my head right now. It's not too much smaller. But because it's all together, you don't have to worry about being gentle. Oh, he made her, he made her coffee. That's so nice. Oh man, I don't know which one I'd get. Like the blue or the yellow? 
I already have a gray. Look at him in space. And he's playing in space. Good one. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. By transferring data, can I go back and forth? Like if I wanted to take it and. Ooh, the light font. I like it. I know it's just about the same, but still. I'm so excited, dude. You don't even understand. With Nintendo Switch Lite joining the family, you'll have an option that's optimized. I knew this was coming, y'all. In terms of features, Nintendo Switch Lite differs a bit from the flagship Nintendo Switch Obviously, system. Obviously, the Joy-Cons, first Here, and foremost. let me show you. Okay, break it down for me. Break it down for us, Tack. Break it down for us! First off, since Nintendo Switch Lite is a dedicated handheld, it won't connect to a TV. Okay, so it will not dock. Okay, so it's strictly handheld. That was cute. I love that. You, the main unit and control inputs are integrated into one piece of hardware. Okay. The direction Cat, buttons what are you have been doing? swapped out for a plus Who? control pad. In fact, okay, the, the D-pad is included. Are different from the Heck yeah. Controllers included with the flagship Nintendo Switch system. I like D-pad, but and it's so not my favorite. But I know a lot of people like it. features have been removed. Eh. Uh. I like HD Rumble, but you don't need it. That you don't need you it. Need additional Joy-Con controllers to play games like One Two Switch, which require motion controls. With Nintendo Switch Lite, you can play all Nintendo Switch games that support handheld mode: Super Smash Brothers Ultimate, okay. Super Mario. Can you play Odyssey, Splatoon with it? Like, does it have the gyro? Of Zelda: Breath of the Wild. I would assume. Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Okay. And many more can be played. I don't see, see Splatoon, but I'm assuming there is mode, gyro. Check the back of the software packaging. Right here. Oh, I never looked at the back of the box for that anymore. Since Nintendo Switch Lite differs a bit from the flagship Nintendo Switch in terms of features, please visit our website for some help citing which one is right for you. For FAQ. The Nintendo Switch family's newest edition, Nintendo Switch Lite. It's a dedicated handheld, so it's nice and easy How much is to take it? it with you. It's always more fun to have options. That is such and a great... now you can find uh, your way to play uh, with the Nintendo Switch family uh, system. 200! I mean, y'all. There's no. still some time before it launches. September 20th? Forward to it. Wait a minute. That's around Thank the date of Link's Awakening, isn't it? So I love it. <laughs> um, I love it. I think it's a great idea. It's 200, which is great, right? And you know they're going to have a bundle of some sort, right? Like they have to have a bundle. Um, I'm assuming because it's coming out towards the end of the year, we could see bundles with like Animal Crossing or bundles with Pokemon or maybe not Fire Emblem since Fire Emblem is so soon. Maybe Luigi's Mansion. Be some really cool bundles for that. And I think what's cool about this is you can do like special editions that you can't really do with the Switch. So like kind of what they did with the, the 3DS and stuff like that. Like I think that's great. 200, we're just gonna go through all the cons right now. Or the pros, sorry. Pros, pros. We're going through the pros. Okay, pros. <laughs> they have a sword and shield one. Can someone get me mods? Can one of you get a link for that? There's a sword and shield one. Oh, I wanna see that. I wanna see that now. Okay, anyway, sorry, distracted. Pros. It's already compact. It's strictly handheld, right? You are, you, it is telling you exactly what it is. It's not trying to be something it's not. Did we, did someone say gyro is confirmed or no? Is it confirmed if we go on FAQ? If we go on FAQ, is it confirmed? Tack, you're so cute. I love you. All right, this is gonna be great for the, oh God, I hit play. Ah, this is gonna be great for the casual audience who doesn't really like care to have a handheld and console 
or who really cares to have all these extra bits and pieces, or for parents who don't really want to give their kid a whole giant, it's not even giant anymore, like, thinking about it compared to the Wii U and even, like, the size of the PlayStation and Xbox, like, the Switch is tiny compared to those and all the pieces. This is great for, for first off, casuals who don't really care what they're buying, they just want the newest handheld. Or they just want, like, oh, I want my kid to be able to play this game, they really like it, which one's cheaper? Now, unless they're smart to buy used, that's a different case, right? Like, we were looking through used stuff. Um, I don't know. Uh, as far as, like, if I go on to, what was the site that he said? Uh, switch.nintendo.com. Let's, let's just go ahead and look it up right now, just so we have it, because, um... I don't know if I'm gonna make another video on all of this, just because I want to get it out of the way now. So if you're watching, hey, thanks. Nintendo Switch Lite is up on the site now. Uh, so if we go over here, Nintendo Switch Lite. Obviously, compa uh, compact, lightweight, it's great. I love it. I think it looks great. It's beautiful. Built-in controls, obviously. It's got the D-pad now. I know a lot of people are excited because they love the D-pad. I know they're wanting the third-party D-pad controllers um, with all the catches. Um, colors are great. Local, online, okay. Same old features. All of these games. I don't see Splatoon. I honestly, I really wonder, and this is, oh, is that it? <gasps> oh! 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 Not right now. Oh! Oh! Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Does it come with the game? Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, I love that. Look at that. That's clean. And they don't have a white system yet. Ooh, I like it. Wow, okay, so it's yellow or this one? I don't know at this point. What the frick? Yeah, the blue and the pink. Oh, that's great. Um, so let's see. It comes, uh, handheld. Uh, obviously, okay, so HD Rumble, like, not being included. If you look here, sorry, I know my head's in the way. HD Rumble not being included. I, I see some people potentially getting upset about that, and to be honest... You don't need HD Rumble because you're not going to have the entire thing in your hand, so you don't need to feel directional vibration, right? And that's why I said you're going to need other Joy-Cons because the Joy-Cons come out. And that's fine. Like, you already have them usually if you're wanting to play those games. But, I mean, let's be honest. How many of y'all are rushing to the store to buy Run 1, 2, Switch, eh? No one? Oh, okay. Anyways, um, IR Motion Camera included. I mean, again, it's not coming out anywhere. Like, it's not disconnecting so it doesn't really matter uh that one's not out till november i mean yeah but are you gonna want to buy this day one necessarily you know what i'm saying november it is i mean i don't care i'd wait i'd wait now is there motion control maybe that's why they said or that's why they did not put splatoon up there god these are so pretty Marvel to my Lion suit. I'm so excited. What the frick? There's so there are so many things. Um, I guess let's look at the compatible games. I mean, oh here we go. Here's time. So it's approximately. Oh, it's not that. It's not too much smaller, and it is. I mean, the Switch already doesn't weigh a lot, so the fact that it's even lighter than the Switch is crazy to me. And the screen's about, what, 0.8 of an inch smaller? Like, it's not horrible? Um, well, we don't know. Just because, like, they could rework Zelda to where you just use the joystick. Like, if Zelda is compatible, I would love to say gyro control is still there. But because they didn't put Splatoon up there, maybe they, maybe they think that the audience in the West isn't big for Splatoon. They'd be mistaken because people like me bless you Splatoon, but, you know, I don't know, 
He was playing Splatoon on the Switch docked. But I don't know. I don't know. Um, charging option, I would assume that it's the same exact thing. They said an AC adapter. So it literally, yeah, if we look here, it's a USB Type-C as well. It's USB Type-C. Um, which I'm glad because I can just use literally everything with USB Type-C now. Oh, bless it. Okay. Uh, let's see. The screen and then the battery life from the Switch, uh, went from two and a half to six and a half hours. This is going to be from three to seven. Four hours of Breath of the Wild. I love how they use Breath of the Wild as the benchmark, you know, because it's like Breath of the Wild's a lit game. So... I guess because they don't have the uh, HD rumble and everything else included, like the Joy-Cons to connect, I guess it is able to allocate its its battery resources a little bit better. So the battery life isn't too bad. And I'm not going to lie, y'all. I always have an extra charger with me anyway. And at this point in your life, I'm just going to tell you, if you haven't bought an external charging case or an external battery pack, to charge things, you should probably invest in one. As someone who travels and what you'd be using this for, you should have one already. But, I mean, honestly, like, that's not a big deal. Let's see, other things. The joysticks look similar. I'm hoping they're a little bit less prone to dust and dirt because I know the Joy-Cons drift. So I'm hoping that these don't necessarily suffer the same amount of um, susceptibility to knit and grit, if that makes sense. I mean, other than that, it just says the system doesn't have HD rumble or motion camera. So I'm assuming that has gyro. I'm a, maybe they just think this is a default. They, that, knowing Nintendo, they probably just oversaw it because they're like, ah, oh, this is a default standard feature, you know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Sorry, I'm talking really loud because I'm really excited right now. I don't know if you can tell. Um, and Tack is licking his leg over here. Dude, I love it. I love it. So it's only for handheld, though. You will not be able to prop it up from what I saw. There's no kickstand. But that doesn't even matter either because people have freaking stands you can put it on it, too. Like, it doesn't matter. I don't know why you'd have it on a stand if you can't. I mean, you can connect other controllers to it, right? That's what they said. There will be a case. Okay, well, like I was say, you can always just add things onto that. They're making it as sleek as possible. In Japan, they just sold the Switch by itself. Here, they won't really do that because, I don't know, people don't really see a deal in that, which I guess makes sense. But I guess they felt like they had to market this to the West to be more of a complete package and more intentional. You know what I'm saying? Dedicated handheld. Because they were saying for games like 1-2-Switch, you would need separate controllers. But if you're going to play 1-2-Switch, like, you're not going to play it flat on the table. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, if you can connect controllers to it, then then it's not a big deal. So, that's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah, I know. And specifically for people who want to have multiple in their house. Like, maybe you want one Switch and then a handheld. Like, that's fine. Instead of having to pay a whole nother chunk of money for a switch to be honest though the switch is like you're getting a lot of pieces for the price so i don't even see it as a bad deal and you can also get bundles or use you know um switches at this point but overall i'm super pleased dude do i think i'll get one um they kind of got me with the yellow and then they kind of got me again with the uh pokemon one so your girl is going to be seriously debating which one she wants because I travel a lot, but I also, ooh, let's see. Do they have, does it say here, um, let me move this over. Can you see this? Here we go. Does it say here about data transfer? Can I data transfer? Uh, uh, I mean, for a hundred bucks cheaper, essentially you're just not you're just not paying for the the mechanics to separate everything, and then for the dock, which makes sense. It's fine. Um, the last update gave us data transfer. Oh well, yeah. If they if they he did confirm it on Twitter. Oh, well, let's go look on Twitter then. How about that? Let's 
Let's go look on Twitter. <clears throat> Where did he confirm this? Where? This is all old. This is old. This is old. I see nothing from Doug. He confirmed it on Twitter? Is it through here? Let's look through tweets and replies. Sorry, Doug. I'm stalking your... I see nothing from him. I see nothing. Someone send me the link of him confirming it. Oh, he confirmed it in an interview? It's in links. Y'all send me on a wild goose chase. Don't tell me one thing if it's not the one thing. All right, well, I'll pull it up then. Um, hmm. Links and pics. There's a whole conversation. I gotta scroll. Where the heck is this? Where... Okay. I could, uh, blah, 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 blah. I could see myself wanting to take the smaller switch on trips while leaving the household switch behind. Then again, how would I transfer games between systems? Nintendo hasn't made it easy to do that, but there might be a solution coming. Yes, you will have the ability to transfer between devices, your gameplay experiences. More to come on there, but that is the intention. Uh, could that be the multi-device account solution I've been waiting for? Maybe Nintendo has a plan in place to make it easier on Switch... Oh, make it easier to switch switches. Okay. So, it hasn't exactly been confirmed, but they did say that was the intent behind it. Now, again, if not all games are cloud-supported, I don't know. Um, if we're being honest, I don't think that... Um, I'm very good <laughs> with games like Splatoon in handheld mode anyway. So, you know, there are just certain, there are just certain games I probably wouldn't play on trips anyway. Like, I don't play Splatoon when I'm on a plane. I don't really do single player for that because I'm like, like this. And it's just weird in, a, in an airplane. It's just weird. Um, games like Smash, things that you don't really have to move around for. Zelda's very minute. Like, you're just, you know, uh, Maybe it's not a huge deal if there's games, like, that aren't cloud-supported like Splatoon. But, you know, Animal Crossing, though, it is, you know? Maybe you have to have maybe you have to have it into the SD slot. Maybe you have to save it to the SD slot, and then you can transfer the slot in between. I don't know. There are so many things. Motion controls and the light is just not in the Joy-Cons. Well, that's what I'm saying. It's an, it looks like it's, it's just assumed that it is. Switch base models also getting some minor updates as well. Heck yeah, it's about time. Um... Uh, yeah, dude. I mean, if I have to make a smurf for Splatoon, I don't really care. At this point, it's like I put how many hours into the game. I'm totally fine just restarting from the beginning. Um, Adrian, I literally just said that. I'm also expecting a Zelda bundle. Maybe. Maybe. On the Switch Lite. Oh, the Switch Lite is 1080p. Did I miss that? Is it really 1080p? I mean, I'm not surprised if it is because, again, it's all dedicated to that handheld. Um, but do, 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 do. so overall, overall, I love it. <laughs> I absolutely love it. Um, I know a lot of people are going to be, uh, not as understanding and also we're going to be pretty like me. I wanted a pro. Listen here. Listen here. If you think that any company and Nintendo is a company just like the rest of them, if you think that any company is going to try to apply to the more niche group for a hardware, one of the most universal things that a, a gaming company could sell out, if you think they're going to become more niche with their item first in like their prime, you're insane. They're going to go to the masses. They're going to go to sell to the, to the, the people who, like I said before, could care less what it's all about. NVIDIA just tweeted about it, so I think they know. Really? Wow. That's awesome. This is exactly... I hate to say it again, y'all, but I did say... I did say... I did say... They would go light before they go pro. And if they don't go pro, it's okay. It's fine. It's not even that big of a deal. Listen to how spoiled we sound, okay? How many of y'all thought that we would ever get to a point where we could take a console and a handheld in the same case? So, 
So Nintendo saying 720p, NVIDIA said 1080. Someone fact check that for me. Because that'd be great. Um, I don't know. Other than that, I guess I'll follow up with it more more as we find out about it. But I'm, I'm in love with these. I love it. I love it. I really do. We'll continue talking about this, obviously, throughout stream. But uh, confirm 720. That's fine. I honestly, like, I'm not the huge, I'm not the biggest, what's the word? I'm not the biggest person who's persnickety about 720 or 1080 because when you're on a screen that small, I mean, to be honest, anything handheld at 720 is already going to be an improvement from, uh, you know, 3DS. Not hating on 3DS, but I'm just saying. Uh, anyway. Dude, if uh, you are watching this, on VOD, like after the fact. Thank you, first off, for watching this giant discussion video reaction, whatever this is. I don't even know. It's me rambling on. Because I love this. I think it's great. I think it's, I think it is cool to see the next actual handheld come on from the 3DS. Um, and I, I honestly think that this is just part of the Switch family. I would not be surprised if we see something even different kind of along the lines of the old 2DS, 3DS family. I, I don't think the Switch is going to be the only thing we will see from them. Um, but that's just me. That's just me. Um, is the screen actually smaller or is the bezel border? I, the screen is actually smaller. But it's, it's not even an inch. Um, so, yeah. But for those of you who are watching... After the fact, if uh, you're watching this on Twitch VOD or if you're watching this on YouTube, thank you so much for watching. We're going to continue this discussion throughout stream as we play some games. You're more than welcome to come hang out with us every day on Twitch. I would be delighted to have you. And thank you to everybody who has been hanging out here. I have appreciated all the new faces. Y'all are absolutely amazing. Mwah. I love you. But if you're on YouTube, we're saying goodbye to you for now. So let me know what your thoughts are about the Switch Lite. I keep wanting to call it the Mini, and it's not the Mini. It sounds really cute, but the Switch Lite, it looks great. Look at look at the font. Look at this. This this looks great. It's so clean. I'm loving the aesthetic of this generation. Can we just stop? Oh, pastels, mustard. Oh. Anyway, sorry, what? I'm out for the day, YouTube. Have an awesome one. I'll see you in the comments below. Stay awesome, stay beautiful, and stay savage. Ta-ta for now. Bye. Say bye, Tack. He's so sleepy. Tack, should we get the yellow one? We're going to get the yellow one, right? Or do you like the Pokemon one? I think the Pokemon one's pretty good, right? I think Tack wants the yellow one, to be completely honest. I love you. He's just kissing my hand. Why is he the cutest? Why is he the cutest? Okay, for real. Bye, YouTube. We love you. <laughs> oh.